All right, enough of the reviews for a little while. Let's get on to some lock picking, something we can actually do well. Uh, this is a UAP from Andy Grant in the UK. It came in a box of uh, about six different locks. It is a six pinner and doesn't like it's, look like it's ever been installed. It's still got a little bit of the sticky from the advertising that was on it. Nice, nice lock and beautiful pinning or bidding on this thing. Take a look at that. Just awesome. You couldn't ask for anything better. It works perfectly, obviously, being brand new. And why don't we see if we can get in this. Now, for you new pickers, let's talk a little bit about the keyway. It is a Yale-style keyway, and you can tell by a little flag on the top there. And when we pick this thing, let me see if I can grab something to point with. I'm going to use this the thin tension wrench from my kit. This is made from the, a windshield wiper insert. What we want to do, we want, obviously we want to be able to get access to those pins. And the only way we can do that is by working on the right side of this keyway. If we try to work from the left side, that piece of warding right there will get in our way. So rather than use top of the keyway, I mean we could, why don't we use bottom of the keyway and keep that tension wrench out of our way. Now if we take the smallest tension wrench and we put him in there, you'll notice he kind of wedges himself against the core and the body of the lock which means you're not going to be able to pick it, you're not going to be able to tension it. Likewise, if you put it in the other side, I'm going to try to do this without dropping anything, he turns all the way around and totally locks up that core. So clearly the small one is not what you want. But we got a lot of room to work with. Why don't we just get the big one, and I think this is him right here, and we will stick him right there in the bottom. He doesn't bind up. You can see a little air gap there and it still gives us plenty of room to stick our pick in on the ledge that we want to work from. So let's try that. Um, I think I showed you it does work, but we'll go ahead and clamp it up and I'll prove it to you again. Okay, he does work. But we don't need that stinking key. I'm going to take the fat tension wrench. I'm going to stick him right where I showed you. And again, because i got plenty of room to work with, I'm going to use uh, a, the deepest hook that I can squeeze in the keyway. And because we have that little tail, that little turn on the tip of that lock, I'm going to use something flexible that can work around corners just a little bit. Now, So this is a 15 thousandths. So use a medium hook. This one is a Peterson gem. All the way to the rear. Very light tension. And let's see what we got. I'm trying to find a binder. And I found nothing. So what I'm going to do is put the pick all the way back and put extraordinary tension and try to force that first binder. And it felt like pin 5. Now I lighten up on my tension and pick it normally. Yeah, I heard something drop and since I only picked one, it had to be 5. I'm going to go check them again. I'm either feeling them springy or no give whatsoever. So there's a possibility I overset five in my over enthusiastic attempt to speed things up. Oh, I just touched pin three and I felt a slight turn on the core. So he's a standard pin. So I guess I'm on track. Now I'm all the way to the rear. Five has fallen down again, feels like. don't know about that. I'm going to skip by him and just look for another one. He may be set. Or I may have too much tension. And there we go. Alright, pin 3 was the one. Uh, I did not feel any security pins in there. So since we're, we're only at four and a half minutes here, we haven't set any land speed records on picking this thing, so let's just have a little fun. I'm going to try to take this pick, slide them all the way in, and I'm going to what's called zip it. I think I've shown this technique before. Very light tension, and then I'm going to use low speed zipping so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just very slowly dragging that pick out while I'm pushing up against those pins. And the critical thing here is light, light tension, and I have to have no security pins. 
and that's how quick zipping can work. If you put too much tension, you'll bind all the pins and that will not work. And just for fun, since, uh, well, again, no land speed record here, I'm going to take uh, another nice tool for this type of lock with no security pins. It has a paracentric keyway, so we need a thin pick. This is an 18 thousandths Bogota. And again, just like with the low speed zipping, just very light tension, except this one we're going to kind of jiggle them around in there just randomly. And again, it, no security pins are the key here. So I think the low speed zipping was probably the fastest way. <laughs> And there we go. My vote is low speed zipping. If you get yourself a universal and proud lock, go with low speed zipping, guys. Anyway, thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay legal. Andy, sir, thank you for the lock. I appreciate it.